Abba revealed in Jesus is precisely what the Father has to say about himself. We, we Damon Thompson. In this room than for me to preach for 15 or 20 minutes. Just, I'd be the, be the equivalent of the dead being raised, so we're going to try it right here for a little while. I'd say, Ronnie, if I had one message to preach for the rest of my life, it would be probably, probably the revelation I feel like I'm in now, which is the Abba that is revealed in Jesus is precisely what God has to say about himself. Let me say that again. The Abba that is revealed in Jesus is precisely what God has to say about himself. Jesus is not the good cop to his father's bad cop. He is the express image of the father. In him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And we cannot allow any duplicity to exist in the way that we see the Father or we're going to live in duplicity internally as we relate to the Father. And so I guess, I guess if I had to say if there was, there was one message I had to preach for the rest of my life, it is that Jesus did not simply come to the world so that you wouldn't die and go to hell. He came to the world to fix our broken perspective of his father. Scandalous. No, nowhere in any Jewish history will you ever find anyone refer to God as Abba. And Jesus does it by 12. By 12. Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? That the austere, solitary, sovereign, distant, disconnected God was to be annihilated in the person of Jesus. And Jesus was coming to deal with the illusion of our alienation. That we had somehow put an austere, distant, disconnected, solitary God off at a distance. If I had time, I can't do it in 15 minutes, but I could talk to you about the influence of Augustine. I could talk to you about the influence of Plato. I could talk to you about an entire Platonic theology. One, one of the worst things that ever happened to worldwide theology that is the most prominent theology in the West is really Augustine. Because we begin to create a God that was far flung. He was at a distance. He was not just beyond the veil. That's why we took words in the Bible like appear and turned them into return. Every time the Bible says Jesus is coming, that word should have been appearing. Because coming means from a great distance. Appearing means just on the other side of an ever thinning veil. And so what we're beginning to understand is that Jesus did not just come to deal with the symptom of sin that we were taught was the disease of humanity. Sin is not the disease of humanity. Displacement is the disease of humanity. And sin is the symptom of our displacement. That's why when the Bible continually talks to us about being adopted as sons, we know that the most graduated state or elevated state that we have for the word son is the word weos, which is the fully mature son, which are those that are being set in place to be able to rule and reign, not only on behalf of the father, but as the father. Now, not everybody wants to hear that. That's too kingdom for some people. But that you, that you are to rule and reign as the Father, on behalf of the Father, because you've been placed into a seat of sonship. Now, we've, we've so westernized the Scripture that we think in terms, and, 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 and honestly, this is, this is something that's been evolving in my heart for years, is, oh, man. If we're not willing to hold Western Christianity up against biblical Christianity, we're never going to fall out of the apathy that we find ourselves in because we are being presented a God that is other than the one Jesus came to reveal. Let me give you a few verses that will maybe help you with this. John 10, 30, Jesus says, I and the Father are one. That word is heis. That Greek word means we are one another. 
We are one another. Colossians 1.15, He, Jesus, is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. The Passion Translation said, He is the divine portrait, the true likeness of the invisible God, and the firstborn heir of all creation. John 14, 9, Jesus said unto him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father, so how can you say, show us the Father? The Passion Translation, Jesus replied, Philip, I've been with you all this time, and you still don't know who I am. How could you ask me to show you the Father? For anyone who has looked at me has seen the Father. Hebrews 1, 3, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he laid by himself, he put, when, when, he, when he had by himself purged our sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. The Passion Translation, listen to this. The sun is the dazzling radiance of God's splendor, the exact expression of God's true nature, his mirror image. His mirror image. He holds the universe together and expands it by the mighty power of His spoken word. He accomplished for us the complete cleansing of sin and He took His seat on the highest throne at the right hand of the majestic one. 